you're back hey we back welcome everyone to the episode on the ultimate sports tv guys it is the most wonderful time of the nfl offseason right now we are in nfl free agency and a lot of great signings and surprising signings really intriguing have gone down so far as we're about to hit the new league year in the nfl as all these trades and free agent signings are going to be official guys there were a lot of great signings that happened and i'm going to grade half of them guys as soon as some more signings come in i will grade those signings too but right now this is part one of my free agency signings grade but before i get into grading these free agent signings please make sure you subscribe to the ultimate sports tv and do yourself a favor because if you are not subscribed you're missing out on so much because this is the hot spot get lost and lost it's hot from the ultimate sports tv spot with nba and nfl content so go ahead hit that subscribe button and join the us tv squad then when you're done with that please like this video for me share this video and youtube channel then comment down below your nfl free agent great signings down below for any player you want or you could do multiple players in the comment section below guys but now let's get to grading these nfl free agent signings of the offseason of 2021 all right, first, let's get to one of our most recent signings as of right now, and that is AJ Green to the Arizona Cardinals. I'm going to give this free agent signing grade an A, guys. Not an A+, plus, not an A-, minus, just an A. I really like how the Cardinals added depth to their receiving room. Yes, AJ Green is really at the back and the end of his career, but he will be number two receiver on this team. It's not like he'll be leading a whole receiving court. He can still give you good production as a great route runner and a great jump ball catcher. I think this is a great signing for the Arizona Arizona Cardinals and him being a number two receiver for Kyler Murray and that wide receiver room is great adding depth to that team. All right, our next grade for this signing is John Johnson for the Browns, and I'm giving this signing for the Browns an A+. Now, John Johnson is a very, very underrated corner in this league. In my opinion, he is the top five safety in this league right now. This is a position of need that the Cleveland Browns went into free agency really looking for. They needed a safety this year, and John Johnson is more than enough to fill that void. Now, they have Ronnie Harrison, who played like a pro bowler last year. They have Grant Delpit, who is supposed to be a stud rookie coming back, and then you add John Johnson who was a versatile and really complete safety to this safety room for a safety room that really needed another starting and pro bowl safety John Johnson fills that void for the Browns and it is a great pickup knowing that hey you now have three good safeties that can com provide really good play for you when you have a defense that really plays a lot of cover three and they are expected to pick up another defensive back to go along with Denzel Ward I like what I'm seeing for the Cleveland Browns this is a top five corner who came to the Browns and took significantly less money than other teams were giving him. That shows you the growth of the Browns and how good players actually want to come play there now. John Johnson is a great signing for the Cleveland Browns. Into the Jets, and I'm giving this one a B. Now, I did like this signing for the Jets, but money-wise, I did not like it. I think Carl Lawson is a very good and young defensive end with a lot of upside and really good potential. This year, he only had five sacks, though, and I know people are going to use the argument that he had a lot of pressures. Now, pressures are very important when you look at a pass rusher, but sacks still matter, and this guy got paid $16 million. I wouldn't have paid him $16 million. I would have paid him around the $14 million to $10 million range. Although he did have a lot of pressures, he did not have a lot of sacks, and he still has some holes in his game. I do like the signing, though, for the Jets in terms of upside in the player. So I'm giving this grade a B for Carl Lawson to the Jets. All right, next we're going to move on to Shaquille Griffin to the Jaguars. I'm giving this a grade B minus. Now, I think it was an okay signing by the Jaguars. I like that they added a good corner, Shaquille Griffin, and he is a pretty nice corner. But here's the thing. They paid him $16 million about close to 16 million dollars and he is a very inconsistent corner and has a lack of interceptions problem he does not get a lot of interceptions and up and down times he's getting burnt downfield or he's a very inconsistent corner he is a good corner but he is too inconsistent to be paying him close to 16 million dollars as he's really getting paid about 15 and a half i would probably pay him 13 million dollars or 12 million dollars i'm just not going to pay an inconsistent corner 16 million dollars this signing gets a b minus 
All right, Bud Dupree to the Titans. I'm going to give this one a B. Now, Bud Dupree is a great player. He's a good defensive end for the Titans. And the Titans filled a need on the defensive side of the ball. They needed pass rush all year, and I applaud them for that. But here's another problem. It's the same problem I saw with Shaquille Griffin and Carl Lawson. This guy is overpaid, especially because we're uncertain about his injury. You don't pay a guy that is coming off an ACL injury 16 no $17 million. I would have paid him at least $14 million. I'm not paying a guy that we're uncertain about coming off of an injury $17 million. I'm giving this signing a B for the all right, I'm giving John Smith to the Patriots in A. This is a great sign for the Patriots in terms of getting Cam Newton weapons. Now, they got him some other weapons. We're going to get to that in a little bit in this next one. I give this an A because it gives the Patriots help when it comes to in terms in the red zone and passing touchdown. And Cam Newton does great with tight ends. And another tight end that got was Hunter Henry. I'm going to give this grade an A too. Again, same thing for John Smith. It gives a good versatile tight end weapon, a good guy for the red zone and a good guy to get some more passing touchdowns cam newton does great with tight ends and when you gave him greg olsen he had an mvp season now you give him two good tight ends cam newton is in a good situation with the patriots as we speak right now Joe Thune to the Chiefs gets an A, and maybe this needs an A+. Plus. I think this was an amazing signing from the Chiefs using the salary cap space that they created by restructuring and releasing some contracts. This is an absolutely amazing signing. Joe Thune is one of the best guards in all of football, and as the Chiefs need offensive line help, they go get it with this signing. Although they do need some more tackles, I think that this is a step in the right direction for the Chiefs as far as offensive line talent and helps goes to help out Patrick Mahomes here. This is a great signing from the Chiefs, and I give this one an A. Yannick Ngakwe to the Raiders gets an A+. Plus. I love this signing for the Raiders, especially because they did not overpay and fall into a trap all these other teams did. This team is going to pay Yannick Ngakwe about $12.5 to $13 million as his base salary and annual salary per year as he's getting a two-year $26 million deal. This is a great addition to a defensive line that really needed to get pressure last year, and Yannick Yannick Ngakwe is a guy that can get eight sacks per year. I love this signing for the Raiders. I also love this signing for the Patriots. Matt John to the Patriots. I'm giving this grade an A. I'm giving this signing grade an A. I love this signing for the Patriots. They went on a free agent signing massacre this free agency around. Now, Matt Jadon fits the Patriots system. I think he fits what Bill Belichick wants to do. And I think he will cast all doubts away that he can't really fit in any other system. I think he can fit in this system with the Patriots. And I think... Him as a stand-up linebacker and edge rusher for the Patriots will really work out. And they did not overpay Matt Jadon here. And they add to this defense. I'm giving this one an A. And I'm also going to give this one an A. But I'm going to give it an A-. minus. Trey Hendrickson to the Bengals. I'm going to give it an A-. minus. Now, he got paid, I think, $16 million. Will he live up to that contract, in my opinion? No. But based off of his play last year and him being as a serviceable defensive end as I think he will be, I think... I think this is a good signing for the Bengals knowing they lost Carl Lawson. I think Trey Hendrickson will improve as a defensive end the more snaps he gets. I do not think he'll live up to this contract and I think they did overpay him but I do think that the Bengals will get some Carl Lawson kind of things out of Trey Hendrickson and I think they did a good job replacing Carl Lawson knowing this guy got 13 sacks last year. I give that one an A- minus, and I'm giving Ryan Fitzpatrick to the Washington football team an A. I love, love, love this signing for the Washington football team. Whenever the Dolphins needed Ryan Fitzpatrick, he was there. Whenever Tua was having problems, Ryan Fitzpatrick was there to mentor him. And he was in there to step in, take his spot, and really ball out for the Dolphins. And before they even put Tua in as a starter, Ryan Fitzpatrick was balling and making sure he was doing his best to really try and get the Miami Dolphins and put them in a playoff push position. And he arguably should have stayed their starting quarterback. He is a great pickup for the Washington football team, a great leader, and a great service serviceable starting quarterback now he does have some real inconsistencies in his game at this point in his career but he is a good serviceable quarterback knowing what he will have around him in Washington knowing that they will likely pick up another wide receiver to go with Terry McLaurin Antonio Gibson the running back and Logan Thomas as their tight end they've got some good weapons for him a good offensive line and I think this is a great serviceable quarterback serviceable quarterback for the Washington football team I give this signing an A
right, people, that'll do it for me in this part one of me grading the free agency signings of the 2021 NFL offseason. Guys, tell me what you thought of them all in the comment section below and give your opinion down there in the comment section below with your free agent signing grade. Guys, this is Malik Hicks, a.k.a. the Ranker of the Ultimate Sports TV, signing off. Peace out, and I'll see you in my next one.